What's going on everybody, your boy Juan Valdez back with a brand new video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys three things you can do in your Shopify dropshipping store to increase sales and your average order value, hands down, guaranteed. Now so I'm going to show you guys exactly how I set up upsells, downsells, and cross sells in my Shopify dropshipping business that helps me generate six figures a month. If you guys want to see a lot more videos where I share exact strategies that I'm actually implementing into my Shopify dropshipping business to generate that kind of results, make sure you drop a like on this video. If you guys have any questions about upsells, downsells, cross sells, any of them, make sure you drop them in the comments below. If you guys haven't already, show the boys some love, join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button. My business partner Samir and I, we're actually going to be flying out tonight to the Funnel Hacking Live event by Russell Brunson and Tony Robbins. For those of you guys that don't know you know my business partner Samir he's a lot he's been doing a lot of internet marketing for you know a lot longer, longer than I have I'm a little bit newer to funnels but I am starting to get used to it starting to learn how to build them in a whole lot more so I'm gonna actually be going to a Russell Brunson and Tony Robbins event for those of you guys that don't know Russell Brunson he's like an internet marketing savage Tony Robbins is also gonna be at this event so we're super excited we're actually leaving tonight so it is a four-day event so it's gonna be a little tough and it's like all day back end upsells and cross sells i forgot to include down sells in there as well but we'll talk about it anyway so to kind of go over some of you guys may be brand new to this you may not know what an upsell is what a down sell is like you might be looking at me right now like i'm super crazy like what are those or maybe some of you guys already know what those are but are you doing them effectively right so uh, for those of you guys that don't know what upsells are upsells are simply additions to a product if you're selling a trash can a perfect upsell would be trash bags because of course the customer is going to need trash bags now down sells what a down sell is down sells are usually they're additions to a product Product as well but usually these are a lot cheaper additions I would tell them to less expensive trash bag that's simple example just to not waste too much time on that now what are cross sells super simple cross sells are simply when a computer a good cross sell will be a product that makes sense to use with a computer so what else goes to a computer a printer so those are just the examples of upsells down sells and cross sells just so you guys can get used to it you know the terminology if some of you guys again may already know but for those of you guys that don't those are the definitions now what are the purpose of having upsells and downsells and cross sells in your store if done effectively you can increase your average order value AOV for those of you guys that don't know the all ultimate purpose of upsells and downsells and cross sells is of course also to increase the revenue of your store now when it comes down to you running your Shopify dropshipping business right customer experience is everything so you have to keep that in mind right you have to think about the customer and the experience they're having with your site so if their customers coming in they have all these different pop-ups coming in their way and it's ruining their experience of looking through different products looking at your store that can turn people off now how can you recommend more products without trying to shove it down people's throats Amazon they're the best ones with this. They're consistently upselling and downselling. But when you're shopping on Amazon, it feels like a natural experience. Like it feels, you kind of like the fact that they suggest these certain products and the fact that they show you other related products because usually you end up picking things up that you didn't know worked really well with that product. Just thought I'd share it with you guys, but that's what we're going for here. So there's this app that I, I like to use in my stores. It's called the Personalized Recommendations app. So yeah, this is what it looks like right here, personalized recommendations. And the way that it works is usually it's it's free at first, and then they charge a 4% of whatever extra sales they bring in, which is completely fair because they guarantee you that they're gonna help you bring in more sales. And then from there, they actually start charging. So that's a pretty fair deal. But basically what they do, this app right here helps out a ton in my store for many reasons. I'm gonna go over why. What it does is basically it takes some time to kind of look at all the products that you have in your store, right? What they do is they study the behavior of people coming into your store looking for a specific product and then the other products that they also look at and add to cart. And after they study that behavior, they then pop up at the bottom this little recommend. I'm gonna show you guys the app that I was talking about on Amazon. So let's say if I wanted to buy this bunny rabbit stuffed animal, right? I'm gonna come down here and Amazon's gonna show me frequently bought together. Usually it's tailored specifically 
to the products that people are, have looked at. That's one of the best ways you can start upselling and downselling in your store, simply having that bar show. Because if you guys look at Amazon, right? Fun fact, if you guys don't have reviews on your product pages and on your stores, I'd recommend you guys add them in ASAP because it is huge. This is huge. This app works really well because it sets up that frequently bought together product on your product page, just like Amazon. So it sets these up right here. It sets a frequently bought together. You can also do products related. So you want to make sure you guys have these set up for a fact because usually this is one of the easiest ways you can start upselling and downselling because people usually always scroll through your product pages to see what else they can see about the product before they buy. That's one of the ways you guys can have the upsells and downsells set up. Now what I want to talk about is when it comes to upsells, downsells, and cross-sells, you want to make sure that all those contain congruent products right that's what i wanted to talk about what i mentioned in the beginning of the video congruent products is you're selling let's say iphone cases a congruent upsell could be uh, one of the glass screen protectors that you can get for like your iphone right that makes sense a non-congruent upsell would be if somebody comes in to buy an iphone case you offer them a necklace you see that doesn't make sense now that's gonna lower your chances of people actually adding to the cart so you want to make sure within your upsells downsells and cross sells they're all congruent always you want to make sure that all the products always make sense there's a specific way that you can have that you want to upsell and then downsell your you know you want to have that set up in place in your store i've tried numerous apps and usually when you try to upsell and downsell the customer apart from just having recommended bar on the bottom like if you have a pop-up after a customer adds to cart there's specific websites that when you add a product to your page and you get to the add to cart page do you see your whole cart they then try to upsell you and downsell you there on there you don't have that bar that shows frequently bought products and all that stuff. So that's another form that you can try to upsell. Having that in place, for me personally, my experience has brought down our conversions. What has worked really well is having upsells and downsells in place after the customer's added to cart and after they have inputted all their information, like their credit card info, the address and all that stuff. So usually the way that we have it set up now in our store is like after a customer adds to cart, they insert all their information after they hit the order button then they get a one-time offer with an upsell and then if they say no to that then it takes them to a downsell and if they say yes to either the upsell or downsell it automatically adds it into their order to you know crank out some extra sales in your store you know hands down so if you guys got value from this video which i hope you did make sure you drop a like also you know try this out in your store let me know how it goes but if there's, you have any other questions about upsells and downsells that i didn't already cover Make sure you drop it in the comments below. I'll get back to you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM. Smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.